Time for our ETF spotlight. Bob Pisani taking a look at how China stocks are faring amid this trade tug yeah, of war. Yeah, rough, rough overnight, guys. Uh, it appears the Chinese are having just as tough a time with trade and tariffs as we are. Chinese import and export data for February was way below expectations. Chinese markets are down overnight, but the fact is China is among the best performing markets in the world in 2019. So, example, the Shanghai Exchange is up 20 percent, even with today's 4 percent decline. That's twice the performance of the S&P 500 year to date and also outperforming Europe as well. Now, you can own China through many different ETFs, but you've got to be very careful here. They're not all the same. You get different performances. The four largest China ETFs have returns varying from 11 percent year to date to 28 percent year to date. That's a very, very big difference. So why do you get such a variance? It has to do with where they trade and what is in them. The FXI is the largest China ETF out there, but it only lists stocks on the Hong Kong exchange. Those are big state-owned uh, enterprises. The MSCI China ETF is the second largest. It lists stocks in Hong Kong on mainland China as well and also on U.S.-based China stocks like Alibaba. Alibaba trades only here on the New York Stock Exchange. You've got to get the MCHI to get that. The Crane Shares China Internet ETF has obviously only Internet-related stocks that trade everywhere that those Chinese stocks trade. The China Internet includes the U.S. listed shares, what we call the end shares. Now, if you just want China mainland stocks, which some people want these days, the ASHR is your choice. It holds the 300 largest and most liquid stocks in the China, what we call the A shares or mainland market. The big global index providers like MSCI have recently been increasing their weighting of China mainland stocks in their indexes. And that means if you own any kind of international fund in the future, you're going to be owning more China stocks in the future as well. And that's been, of course, a, a big, big push by the Chinese to get into more of the international indexes recently.